The province has committed $4 billion in seismic upgrades to schools around the province and infrastructure upgrades are happening as well. But those billions won't do anything to help you because they won't teach you what to do if we have the big one, if and when. And that is what the great BC shakeout drill is all about. Close to 600,000 people dropped, covered and held on tight across the province this morning. You might have been one of them. CTV's Louise Hartland reports. It is exactly 10.18 in the morning and every student at Savory Elementary knows what to do. We practice on like covering underneath like the tables and desks. Around the province, nearly 600,000 people dropped, covered and held on. Three, two, one and we are at 10.18 right now. You're joining thousands of British Columbians in the largest earthquake drill in Canadian history. Right now, drop, cover and hold on. Drop to the ground. Take cover under a sturdy piece of furniture. Hold on until the shaking stops. If you can't get under something, stay low and protect your head and neck using your arms. Strong earthquakes may trigger tsunami. Today is about making sure that in the event of a, a large earthquake that we are ready. We may not feel them, but seismologists say there are earthquakes on the south coast every day and they should serve as a warning to all of us to be prepared. For about the next 50 years, there's a one in three chance you will experience a damaging earthquake. So I feel that those are fairly high odds and it's best to just assume that you're going to experience one and prepare for that. By nature, we either run or we freeze. But what we really need to remember is that if there is an earthquake, we need to drop, cover and hold on. And that is what can actually save you from being injured or even from death. Having an emergency kit that will last at least 72 hours is also key to survival. But not everyone has one, and some say despite the science, they're not worried about the risk. Never got around to doing it. My parents never had concerns with earthquakes. Never really thought about it. I mean, like, we don't have them really here, so it doesn't really seem like a major issue. Others say it's best to be prepared. I don't know, we always had one growing up. My mom made one years ago, and she updates it every year. So I have an earthquake kit at home. I have a plan with my partner to meet somewhere in particular. If you want to know more about keeping your family safe, visit shakeoutbc.ca or listen to Max. If you don't learn it in a real earthquake or anything like that, you won't know what to do and you could get hurt. Louise Hartland, CTV News, Langford.